Hello friend, it is Allison from Wonderlast.com. Welcome back to my channel. Or if this is your first time, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you five different weekly spread ideas for your bullet journal so that you can hopefully, you know, get some ideas and inspiration for weekly spreads for your bullet journal. Now, I have not been bullet journaling for very long. In fact, I have been bullet journaling for less than a month, but I can tell you I am already completely obsessed. Like. I love it. A lot. And so I actually bought a second bullet journal just for the purposes of brainstorming and coming up with random page ideas and spread ideas and tracker ideas and a place where I could practice my handwriting and calligraphy and I wanted to have a separate journal that way I could just sit down and if I felt like brain dumping 10 weekly spread ideas all in one sitting, I could do that without necessarily having them go right smack dab in the middle of the bullet journal that I'm actually in the middle of using because, you know, if I both, if I brain dumped 10 different spread ideas for the weeks, um, there's not 10 weeks in a month, so that wouldn't really work. So all of this to say is that this past weekend I sat down, I was feeling inspired, and I created five different weekly spread ideas that I am probably going to be using in my actual bullet journal, and that is what I'm going to share with you today. I don't know what this is. <laughs> It's like an awkward camera dance, because I never know what to do on camera. Anyway, <clears throat> let's go. All righty then. So for this first spread, I went with a layout that's really similar to what I'm using now, and that is creating a box for each day of the week going horizontally across the spread. And if you're interested in exact dimensions, these daily boxes are nine dots wide and 17 dots tall. But I like to make these big enough to record enough tasks, but not super big because as you'll see here in a minute, I like to pull from a master to-do list. That way I don't have to schedule out all the tasks on particular days because inevitably I won't feel like doing them. So I only schedule the tasks that have to be done on certain days in the daily boxes. And then over on that right side, I have, I'm have i gonna have a master to-do list that I pull from. And then we've got a goals box so that you can write down your top three goals for the week. That way you can stay focused. And if you don't get anything else done, if your to-do list is running long, you know that you need to always focus on those three goals. And that box is 13 dots wide and 14 dots tall, not including the drop shadow. And then that is a space for intention. So I just like to write a little space where you can write down your intention for the week because I believe in being intentional. So you can come up with a single word, whether that's free time or uh, inspired or whatever you're trying to be for that week. And then of course, I've gotta have a tracker for a tracking habit. So I stuck the habit tracker in there, recorded all of my habits that I wanna track. I love having these on the weekly spreads because for me, I have my weekly spread open on my desk all day long. So when that habit tracker is on that weekly spread and it's open all day long, that means I'm seeing it all day long. I also recorded a space for water. If you wanna track your water, a little area for just for fun tasks. So if there's items in there that you wanna do just for fun, you can put it over there. And then of course you can see the to-do list over on the right side next to the Sunday box. And I like to do all of my spreads in pencil first because I am horrible at winging it as far as like spacing goes. So I always like to just lightly pencil in where I want things and then I will draw over them with the pen. And I'm using those Faber-Castell 8-Pit Artist Pens in black. Uh, for this entire thing and then the zig clean cut real brush set which oh my gosh if you are looking for some colors to invest in those zig clean color real brush sets are amazing and so the finished spread is very jam-packed but i like to think that it is also clean Moving on to the next spread, this was one that was actually inspired by a spread that Amanda Rashley did. I really loved the layout and I loved her messy circular thingies around the days of the week. So I decided to create something similar while also putting my own personal stamp on it. And these lines I'm drawing are 21 dots across and I left nine dots of space in between each line 
to make room for the days. And then I'm just going in with my Tombow calligraphy pen and drawing those messy circles. And I am completely new to having a calligraphy pen. It's so much fun. I don't have any calligraphy experience. I've never taken a class. It's something that I would definitely like to do. I wanna up my game but it makes it really easy for your handwriting to look way cooler than it actually is. Just by pressing down different weights, like lightly and harshly, it creates really cool lines. So you should definitely give it a try if you haven't already. And then of course, I gotta make room for a habit tracker and top three goals and also a master to-do list. Cause as I said, I gotta have my habit tracker on my weekly spreads so that I'm constantly reminded of them. And I always like to choose one to three main goals. That way I stay focused even when I have a ton of to-dos. And then of course, a master to-do list so that I can put things that aren't necessarily assigned to a particular day. So I decided to draw these little kitties all over the spread. So this is like a kitty themed spread. I saw these really cute cats on this Japanese site and I don't know the name, but they're like Kwai. Is that, is that how it's pronounced? I don't know, I'm probably totally butchering it, but they like have a name for cute things. So I saw these cute Kwai kitties, kitties and I decided to make them the, the spread theme. And then I drew a little Instagram symbol on each day cause I'm trying to do an Instagram story each day and a little spot to check that off if I do indeed do an Instagram story. Adding in the pink because I'm obsessed with pink and as you may or may not know by now, I'm obsessed with color in general. So all of my spreads have a crap ton of color. More cowbell, more color. That is what I like to say for each and every spread. Uh. But anyway, I thought this spread turned out really cute. And even though this does have a lot of colors for some people, um, for me, it doesn't have that much color because I like to have basically rainbow vomit on each of my spreads. So for me, that's, that's, that's holding back. Um, for this next spread, you're gonna see that I did not hold back on the color at all. This is a very uh, kind of random spread. I just wanted to play around and doodle and have a lot of fun. So I'm just writing in the days of the week and no boxes this time, just space underneath each day for you to record all of your stuff. And then I am writing in a habits box, a top goals box, of course, for those top three goals. And then another box over on the right hand side for that master to-do list. And if you wanna know the dimensions for these three boxes, the habits box is 11 dots wide and 10 dots tall. The top goals box is 11 dots wide and also 10 dots tall. And then the to-do list box over on the right hand side of the spread is 10 dots tall and 20 dots wide. So I decided to go, as I said, I went a little crazy with color. And of course I am drawing a unicorn because what is more colorful than a unicorn? And I was like, you know what? What would go good with a unicorn? I think some crystals would go good with a unicorn. And I've never drawn crystals before. So this was a new experience. I just Googled a photo of crystals and tried to do my best. And then I'm like, you know what would be even better? crystals with a rainbow coming out of them. So I then drew a rainbow. Yes, I truly am not holding back here. I mean, this is my normal preference. It's like buttloads of color. So I went in and I draw, drew little hearts next to each day of the week name. And that's where I drew the little, you know, dates like April 1st and April 2nd, you know what I'm saying? Like the little numbers. I don't know, man, this voiceover stuff is hard. It's like, how, why is it so hard to narrate what you're doing? I don't know. It always seems so easy when I watch other people's videos, but now I'm like doing it myself and I'm like, what do I say? What am I doing? What? Anyway, yes. So now I am coloring in the unicorn. Of course, I'm giving him a rainbow mane and a rainbow tail. I drew a little shooting star. I drew some hearts and I decided to draw in a little quote as the inspiration for this week. And that quote is, quit telling yourself scary shit. Because let's face it, aren't we all constantly like going over worst case scenarios and thinking about what if this happens or what if that doesn't work out or uh. So the quote of the week is, quit telling yourself scary <laughs> Can I say that word? I I'm assuming I can, but yeah, that's the quote I chose. I decided to draw a little coffee cup next to it because why not? I love coffee. And 
naturally a vampire mouth as well. I mean, they just go so great together, you know, coffee cup, vampire teeth, uh, crystals, unicorns, stars, hearts. The spread is very random, but it's full of things that just kind of make me happy. And that's kind of what bullet journaling is all about for me. And I went in and added more color with those Zig Clean Color Real Brushes, the yellow uh, highlighter looking color, and obviously erased all of the pencil marks afterwards. And there we have it. Moving on to spread number four, I wanted to do something completely different as far as the layout. And I say that like I've been doing this a long time. I haven't, as I've only been doing this for like three weeks, but I wanted to try and put all of the days of the week over on the left page. So that way I would have an entire page just for those other types of things like the goals box and the habits tracker box thingy and the box for an intention and your top three goals. So I went ahead and did all of those on the right hand side, the habit tracker, the to-do list for just random to-dos, and then a box for writing down your intention for the week and your top goals for the week. And for this habit tracker, I decided to do little symbols instead of writing out the name of the habit just so that it would give me a lot more space and also be a lot more clean. Those weekly boxes that I did, those are 25 dots wide and there's just like one box of space in between each day. And then the weekend box is 25 dots wide, but it's nine dots tall. And this spread was inspired by these really cute jellyfish that I saw. There was a jellyfish doodle on Pinterest. I'm not sure of the original source. I clicked over on it and there was like all of these images on Google of jellyfish doodles and I couldn't seem to track down like who did it originally. So these doodles were inspired. I'm not sure by who. So, you know, if you came up with these original jellies, then by all means, let me know below. But anyway, I have always thought jellyfish are adorable and especially when they've got faces. And I realized as I was doing this spread that I don't actually have any pastel colors in my Zig Clean Color Real Brush set. And I really wanted these guys to be in color. So I just went and grabbed my colored pencils and that way I can make them a lot lighter and do a little bit of shading because all the colors I have in those uh, color brush thingamajigs that I use are really bright and really dark and I felt like it was going to wash out their faces and you wouldn't be able to see anything. But yeah, just going back in and I decided to use those uh, brushes on their uh, tendrils or tentacles. Is that what they're called? Tentacles? Not tendrils. I guess it's kind of similar. They've got tendril tentacles. But yeah, and I <laughs> am adding some drop shadows in color to the top goals because, you know, I'm obsessed with color and I just had to add in some blue. I couldn't leave well enough alone. I looked at the page and I was like, oh, gotta have more color. I just ugh, I can't. So yeah, you don't always have to, of course, add color like I do, but there it is. Lovely. Aww. And then for spread number five, I started off with my Tombow calligraphy pen and I once again went back to doing the days of the week horizontally across the spread. And for the Monday through Wednesday boxes, those are 18 dots tall and nine dots wide. And then the Thursday through Sunday boxes, those are 18 dots tall and six dots wide. And there is approximately one box of space in between each day of the week box, in case you're curious on those dimensions. I don't know why I'm talking in an accent all of a sudden. I wish I had a British accent. I just do. They sound really cool. I want one. Anyway, this spread, of course, has the intention area, so you can write down your intention. Also got to have the weekly habits. I went back to doing the little symbols. I, I really like how they look. They're really clean. And I wanted the theme for this week's spread to be light bulbs. I, once again, on Pinterest, saw a bunch of different doodles of doodles of all kinds. Everything is in doodles. And I came across like just all these different light bulbs. And uh, so I was like, you know what? That is really cute. I am going to doodle me some light bulbs hanging from the page, you know? Maybe it will inspire me to think of a new idea. And so the top goals, instead of being in a box, 
it is in a light bulb. I know, genius, not really. Uh, but yeah, this one is pretty simple. I really had to restrain myself from using more colors. <laughs> I would just say, you should be proud of me. I only used one color, the color yellow. And that 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 took a lot because I like color, but you know, time and a place. But I really liked how it turned out, nice and clean and simple. So we have spread number one, a spread number two with the kitties, a spread number three with the random colorful objects, spread number four with the delightfully cute jellyfish with faces, and spread number five, light bulbs. Ah, my hand was definitely cramping by the end. And there you have it, five different weekly spread ideas for your bullet journal. I hope you found this video helpful and that you enjoyed it and maybe came up with a new idea or got some inspiration for something that you would like to try. And don't forget to let me know in the comments below if you want me to keep on doing these bullet journaling videos because as I mentioned, totally new to bullet journaling, therefore I'm totally new to these types of videos. If you enjoy them and want me to keep doing more, then let me know, uh, give this video a thumbs up because that helps me out and then of course don't forget to hit the subscribe button below this video so that you do not miss out on any of the future awesomeness I put out new videos every single week and you should come say hello on Instagram you can find me over there at wonderlass and if you decide to try any of these spread ideas then you should totally take a picture and share it with me on Instagram by tagging me at wonderlass so that I can see it it would totally make my day and it would just huh, give me warm fuzzies. Okay, that's it for today. So I'm gonna go disappear. Go find my cat, hunt him down for some pettins. I got some serious pettins to do. Okay, bye.